Hello there, Ray here, and today I would like to show you my shulker box loader which is designed to be used inside of a storage system. What a shulker box loader is used for is to automatically load up a shulker box full of an item and then store that shulker box with the items in it inside of a normal chest. So that's what we have here. We will store the items coming down from the software into the shulker box and once it's full, it will be broken off and then stored into this chest here. This shulker box loader is designed for a storage system and that's why we have it one wide and tileable so each slice can be placed right beside each other. It's also quite compact. Now being in a storage system we would want to have the player be able to access not only the items which are inside of the shulker box such as here, also be able to access large amounts of items that are already pre-packed inside of shulker boxes. The entire system is quite compact and it all centers around the shulker box here. So we have a dispenser to put down new ones, we have a hopper to fill up them up, then we have a, a piston which will break them off, and then we also got another hopper which will put them into a chest and store them. The way that this system does it all automatically is pretty cool. So the shulker box will be filled up by items from this hopper line here, and once it has been completely full, then the items will start backing up into this hopper here. And let's say some more items come in, so let's put some more items in there. Eventually, the signal strength becomes so great from this hopper, this comparator will be able to read it, and it'll send the signal strength over to here, and this observer will read it. Come over here, pulse this piston, observer will send a pulse in here, change the state of this hopper to being powered. This will be read by this observer coming over here, powering these rails, coming down this observer here, and coming into this repeater here, which will allow the piston to extend and then retract. And right after retracting, there is a short delay, and then this uh, dispenser here will be able to get activated, which will place down a new shulker box, which will can, um, automatically start getting filled again. So that's pretty cool. So being one wide tileable, that means each slice will be right beside each other, and that means if this shulker box is broken off, there is a chance it could fall over into this hopper. And that's why there is a secondary system over here, which will come around and normally lock these hoppers. So every hopper will normally be locked, except when the shulker box is being broken off and placed inside of this hopper here. It will be unlocked for a short while to allow it to fall in, and then it will be relocked. So if you want to use this inside of your storage system, you would most likely have an item filter on top of this. That's what I have here. And at the very top, you can either have your items come across a water stream or just use a hopper like I am here. And then the items come through this item filter and they are sorted out. So we, that way we only pull out andesite and put andesite inside of this shulker box down here. Now some other things to note is a way to refill your shulker box dispenser here. And that is done by using this hopper here. You can either have hoppers come across it or you can just have a rail system, which we will probably do, which has a hopper minecart, which has shulker boxes in it, and then they can just refill it whenever it's needed. If you'd like to go all out with this storage system, you can even include my prior design, which is this shulker box bulk sorter. This allows you to put in pre-packed shulker boxes with one type of item, and the system would automatically sort them out and place them over here. So this would give you these uh, shulker boxes, which have one type of item in them, and then you can also come in and have this system put in items as well. So you can get them all into one location, and this works really nice if you want to have the items pre-packed at a separate location and brought into your storage system. One of the things to note about this is that we have some droppers as well as some furnaces over top of these hopper line, just to minimize lag. And these, are, these droppers here are being powered by this torch as well as other torches which are right beside them which are quasi connectivity on this one so that way you don't have to worry about updates and same goes for these droppers here even though this is being powered these are all being locked by this redstone block so you don't have to worry about updates as well now you do want to put in some light sources around these torches this will just minimize light updates when these torches turn on and off this can make a really useful storage system with everything at one location. Here you can see I have a setup where I have mirrored them as well as put a couple slices together. I found out about 5 meters in between them is pretty nice because you'd like to work with odd numbers in general. This will allow the player even in survival to be able to access the chests on the bottom as well as the shulker boxes. And you can do both the right and left. So the shulker boxes will have the individual items in them where the bottom will have the bulk storage. And if you want to come in and use a hopper minecart, you do want to give a little more room so you can put a block in here to power these rails, or you can come in and use hoppers. Although this system does quite a bit already, this is part of an even larger project called Ultima Storage System, which we are building up on the Protect server. For those who have seen the stream, you'll see some sneak peeks of some other devices which we will hook onto these, which I will talk about in a later video. If you found this interesting, show me the like. If you'd like to see more survival machines like this, subscribe and don't forget to comment. Bye bye!